Prostate artery embolization PAE, is a minimally invasive image-guided procedure for treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia in patients with urinary outlet obstruction symptoms. This animation demonstrates how this minimally invasive procedure is performed step-by-step -step through the right groin access. As the first step, skin in the right groin area is marked based the upper and lower margins of the right femoral head. Once the desired location of the common femoral artery for access is picked up under ultrasound, the skin entry site is numbed by injecting lidocaine. Then, the right common femoral artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle. Once the blood return is noted, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the right common femoral artery. Then, the needle is exchanged for a transitional sheath and the transitional sheath is advanced over the microwire. The microwire and inner dilator of the transitional sheath are exchanged for a wire with larger diameter and longer length which is advanced through the transitional sheath into the aorta. Then, the outer layer of transitional sheath is exchanged for a vascular sheath. The dilator of the vascular sheath is removed. At this point, the sheath is aspirated and flushed with heparinized normal saline. Depending on the situation, contrast may be injected to assess the patency of the common femoral artery and safety of the access. Then, infusion of normal saline is started through the sheath to avoid possible clot formation at the tip of the sheath. A curved catheter is advanced over the wire through the sheath into the lower aorta. and subsequently the tip is formed by pulling back the wire. Then, the wire is re-advanced. And this combination is used to select the contralateral common iliac artery. Subsequently, the curved catheter is exchanged for angled catheter which is advanced over the wire to the contralateral side. Then, the wire is removed and the tip of the catheter is pulled till it is placed at the origin of internal iliac artery. A combination of microcatheter and microwire is advanced through the base catheter to select the prostate artery. Once collaterals are bypassed, the microwire is removed and the prostate artery embolization is performed using particles until the blood flow is ceased. Once embolization is completed, the microcatheter is removed and the wire is advanced back to the base catheter. This combination is pulled back while performing special maneuver to form Waltman loop in the lower abdominal aorta. This form of angled catheter is then advanced to select the ipsilateral common iliac and then internal iliac artery. The wire is removed and the combination of the microcatheter and microwire is again advanced to bypass the unwanted collaterals in similar fashion till the prostate artery is subselectively catheterized. The microwire is then removed and particles are injected into the ipsilateral prostate artery until cessation of the blood flow. Upon completion of the embolization, microcatheter and catheter are removed. Then, the sheath is slightly pulled back and removed while positioning the hand on the groin and applying manual pressure at the entry site to the artery.